President Biden hits the road again this Labor Day holding events in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. He made it clear in his speech last week he's hoping to cast up the upcoming midterm elections and, as he says, battle for the soul of the nation. Cleo Green joins us in studio this morning. Cleo, former President Trump, also hitting the campaign trail. Yeah. He's got his own list of grievances. 100 uh, percent. President Biden getting very busy on the campaign trail. And I got to tell you, he's been very vocal on social media, on Twitter and at his rallies against former President Donald Trump. Take a listen. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. So Republicans are calling his remarks divisive. Biden responded by saying that he wasn't condemning all Trump voters. Just those standing by him now after the violence on January 6 and Trump's continued false claims the 2020 election was stolen. That support has been on full display this weekend when former President Donald Trump held his own event in Pennsylvania, a rally teasing possibly another presidential run in 2024. So I may just have to do it again. But first we have to win a historic victory for the Republican Party this November. So this weekend, we learned that according to Trump's advisors, he does plan to appear at some campaign rallies, participate in tele-town halls, and then maybe some select GOP fundraising events with an emphasis on rural areas. This morning, President uh, Joe Biden, he will be leaving the White House and going to a major union rally in Wisconsin. It's called Labor Fest. I'll send it back to you, Mark.